In this video, we'll discuss how shadows are formed. I'm sure you've played with your friends forming shadows on the ground like this, or maybe form shadows on a wall like this. But have you ever wondered why a shadow is formed? And have you ever wondered how a shadow's size is sometimes so huge and sometimes not that large, right? In this video, we'll discuss all of this. So, the first question, how are shadows formed? Now, Let's say we take a light source like this, maybe a torch or a candle or a bulb, and we turn it on. You'll notice that light rays like these start emanating from the bulb, right? And light travels in a straight path. You know that already. And that's got a fancy name. They call it rectilinear propagation of light. Now, let's say I turn this torch on and I placed a screen, some kind of curtain or a wall in front of this light source. What would happen? Don't you think an illuminated patch like this would get formed on the screen? Right? Okay, great. But what if I brought some kind of opaque object between the torch and the screen? By opaque, I mean something that's not transparent, something that blocks light, that doesn't allow light to pass through. If I did that and then turn the torch on, what do you think would happen? Don't you think some of the rays would get blocked by the opaque object? leaving this kind of shape on the wall, right? So you have some kind of ring kind of shape on the wall, right? And in between there's a dark spot and that is called the shadow, right? Okay, so what would happen if we moved the object closer to the torch? What do you expect? I'd like you to pause and try to predict the scenario. Well, I hope you guessed it right. When you move the object closer to the light source, what happens is that the size of the shadow gets enlarged and that ring of light gets smaller, right? You might be wondering why this happens. Well, when we move the opaque object closer, more rays get blocked by the opaque object. And that causes a larger shadow to be formed because very less light can actually travel and reach the screen now, isn't it? I'd like you to pause and think about this. Let's see this in action. Let's say this is our light source and this is our object and this wall acts as the screen. As we move the object closer to the light source, you'd see that the shadow is getting enlarged. I'll do it again. As we move the object close to the light source, the shadow becomes larger, right? So the shadow gets enlarged when the object is moved away from the screen away from the screen, but closer towards the source, right? I hope you go back and try to have fun with shadows. Play with shadows, make shadows which look like animals, have fun with your friends.